Florida's Supreme Court this week opened the way for a ban on abortions after six weeks to take effect in May. But it also put abortion on the November ballot in Florida, allowing voters to decide whether to include broad abortion rights in the state constitution. That makes reproductive rights even more of an election issue in Florida and in this year's presidential race. Nearly 50 years of federal protections for abortions were overturned in 2022 by the U.S. Supreme Court, of which three justices were appointed by former President Donald Trump. Ending the protections given in a case called Roe v. Wade is something the presumptive Republican nominee has campaigned on. I got it done. I get a kick out of these candidates and even the other side. Well, I don't know. I think I'm more pro-life on this. And somebody stood up, a woman stood up and said, this guy ended Roe v. Wade. How the hell can you go against him? And I sort of said that myself, actually. <laughs> but I'm proud to be the most pro-life president in American history. But since that high court decision two years ago, abortion has been a losing political issue for Republicans in referendums in Ohio and Kansas. Reproductive rights are a centerpiece of President Joe Biden's re-election campaign. Trump proudly says, quote, after 50 years, with no one coming close, I was able to kill Roe v. Wade. That's his statement. You've seen it on television. Well, he's talking about how Donald Trump killed Roe v. Wade. He says it has to be punishment for women exercising the reproductive freedom. Trump and MAGA Republicans are responsible for the chaos that followed, and they're now calling for a national ban on choice for every state, in every state, not just what in law now. In this campaign, Trump has not endorsed a national abortion ban. He was asked this week about the Florida decision. Mr. President, do you support the six-week abortion ban that the Florida Supreme Court just upheld? We'll be making a statement next week on abortion. The issue of reproductive rights in this presidential election will also be fueled by a coming Supreme Court decision on whether to tighten restrictions on access to the drug most used to start medication abortions. Scott Stearns, VOA News.